I received wisdom, instruction, and understanding from it. Now, the people that was there in the warehouse, these were um, demons. Half God, half Nephilim. They became Nephilim on the face of the earth, as, as the book of Enoch tells us. And the majority of these people on this earth, they have a bloodline, and it leads to these people. They are the demons of these um, angels. You see that? They are the half God, half angels, and the Edomites have blended in with them, and they have blended in with the Edomites. And um, the Messiah is going to give them exactly what they want. You see, your demigods, you see that? And this is what we're seeing uh, that is coming in and out of this realm. You see demons. Now, as far as the uh, woman there, uh, she was an angelic being, you know, a righteous angel. And she began to show me the angels' true nature when they fell. You see that? Just like those grades, except dark skin. And she began to, uh, you know, uh, morph her face so I could know what to look for, but I've always said this. And the Most High calls them angels. You see that? He didn't call them demons. He still calls them angels. Why? Because they have a purpose. They serve His purpose. He still calls them angels because they still work for Him. You see that? They have just been service uh, to the left-hand side, if you will. But now these spirits have joined, uh, you know, these other spirits. Nevertheless, they're still going to be judged. But they have always served his purpose, whether they were uh, righteous and then when they became unrighteous. So he still calls them angels. See, and false prophets and teachers and wizards and warlocks and witches try to jump the gun. No, the Mosai says this army is going to be led by the fallen ones that's going to bomb the daughter of Babylon, Azareth, and then bomb Zion over there in the east. And the Nephilim just simply got to the point where they just blend in. You see that? Especially among these Edomites. Simple as that. So when the time comes, he's telling me, and it's almost here, that it's time for Gad to vacate or to, you know, be at rest. And also, this is why the Nephilim was set up next to a church. You see that? These Nephilim are in charge of your churches. You see that? And they're right, right next to the church, and they're going to strike them first, as far as I'm concerned. You see that? Yeah. This thing is very close uh, to home and happening, especially to the churches the, in your Hebrew camps, too. Christians, Hebrews, all religions. So, those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. Chicago will be the first of all. Jamestown, Virginia, the last standing. And as always, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. And for those who refuse to take part in the tree of life and drink from the foundations of living water, let them be unjust still. And the bride say come, and the spirit say come, and the wife say come, Yeshua come, the kingdom come. Amen.